We're gonna go to the beach. My husband, my youngins, and I. Wanna join us? The first thing I need to prepare for a stay at the beach. Sand toys. Sand toys will typically run around 10 to 15 bucks per set. Actually, I have no idea about this because I don't intend to buy them. Instead, I went on a scavenger hunt to see what I could muster up to be used as sand toys. Make sure to stay tuned for more cheap mommy tips. You may be wondering why our house is a mess. Well, that's because we encourage creativity in this household. Have you ever in your life seen a neat and organized minimalist artist? I think not. Anyway, I digress. The next thing to be prepared is an extra dose of patience, sanity, and my knitting. Yeah, right? I'm gonna have enough time for knitting. Also, get used to the ambient noises in the background because I am voiceovering this thing in a kid's cafe. And the other stuff I'm not too stressed about packing because I can purchase them when I get there should I accidentally not bring it. So I fill the suitcase full of yarn. And oh yeah, the kid's stuff, our chauffeur. Why not one more? And off we go. Okay, so I'm back to voiceovering this thing in the confines of my own home. Why am I whispering? I have no idea. But you know what? I left with the confidence of knowing that I would be the only fashionista at that beach. Okay, seriously, it's time for us to leave. I am bombarded with a multitude of thoughts just racing through my head. Like, what have I gotten myself into? What percentage of the rainbow is periwinkle? Do extraterrestrials like their mashed potatoes chunky or smooth? How many licks does it really take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? At this point, it's too late for me to back out. I try to make a mad dash out the door, but my husband locked me inside. Right. I look for another escape route, but am immediately met with failure. <laughs> I'm trying to run away. I have reluctantly decided to accept my fate as a responsible adult this weekend. But my question to you is, are you having a harder time looking away from the crazy thing my face happens to be doing or the fact that my husband paid money to turn his hair into ramen noodles? Okay, a little backstory on this battle scar. I stubbed my toe while packing. It's probably a good thing that this is out of focus because it looks rather disgusting. Also, I forgot to shave my legs. Actually, these are my legs. Also, good thing it's out of focus. And it looks like we're making pretty good time on this trip. So we decided to stop at a rest area. Be sure to write down the password for the Wi-Fi in case you need internet access while you're doing your business because like how long do they think I am actually going to be in there? I'm the fastest pooer in the east. Actually, you probably didn't need to know that. Then we, but let's be real, it was mostly me doing all of the hard work, yeah, uh-huh, tried to keep the kids entertained as much as possible. Unfortunately, every trip with kids encountered encounters. Why can't, why can't I say the word encounters? Encounters the age old question. <laughs> There. As punishment for asking such a vile question, we force the kids into singing us a song. <laughs> then someone thought it would be funny to poke fun at all of my YouTube thumbnails and Instagram posts. Oh, you think you're funny, sir. Well, I'll show you funny. I left a hair in your precious car so you can just pick it up later. And I'll have you know there's many more where that came from, so ha, joke's in your face. <laughs> What are you doing? Can you believe this? We are still not there. How long is this car ride? I have no idea. But I did play a game of how many times will this phone fall on the stash board? And we're at the beach! Time to check in. By all means, Daddy Bear, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. Bet you didn't know that was a Devil Wears Prada reference. I watched that movie recently and... That is all. And I have to say, our room was pretty nice. As the kids described it, it was rather... Wow! Wow! Usually, I make Daddy Bear sleep in the car when we go on these sorts of trips, but I guess he can sleep on the couch this time. Somebody made a mistake and booked a room with a bartender. We don't need your services, sir. Does it look like any one of us would go near that vile substance known as alcohol? You, sir, are a terrible judge of character. <laughs> okay, but we can't do this at night when people are sleeping, okay? Get it out of your system now. <laughs> the beds definitely passed the springy test. Not sure how I feel about the cleanliness level because they left some kids in the closet. Hey, <laughs> you guys gonna sleep in there tonight? Yeah. I might have to call the front desk about that one. What? More kids under the sink? Are you kidding me? Housekeeping is definitely going to get a word or two from this angry customer. Next, we made our way to the, oh gosh, I don't even know how to describe this place to you. Yeah, the pool. Also, fun fact, pool starts with the word poo. It also ends with the word L, but that would just be silly of me to even mention. Then we got ready to make our way to the world's largest sandbox. Is that an original way to describe the beach? 
Probably not, but let's go with it anyway. If you would like to know about whether or not Korean beaches are polluted, let me try to explain. The water, I'm not sure if it's polluted because it's too stinking cold to go swimming that day for me to find out. Air pollution, I'm not sure if it exists because we weren't allowed to take off our masks and my nose wasn't able to experience it. But people pollution, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This beach is definitely over polluted with people. Oh no. My kids were seeking revenge. They weren't pleased with the fact that I tried to ditch them with their dad at the beach. They had a plan and their plan was to bury me alive. Well, unlucky for you, my husband, AKA your father, has been trained in the ancient technique of body burying. Be scared because he is not one to accept failure as a result. Nay, he only will stop when it's time for dinner. Now, you may be wondering why the only shot I got of dinner was a plate of dessert that was already devoured by four voracious songs. Four songs, huh? Well, now, okay, that might not make sense to you, so allow me to give you an extensive explanation. It all started in the womb of a Hong many years ago where she produced a song, which later went on to marry and also changed into a song. That's our last name. What else were you expecting? Anyways, these songs were solemnly up to no good. Teaching children to wager money in an attempt to win fluffy prizes, permanently tattooing young skin without a single afterthought, Pikachu and a star. Gee, I wonder if you're going to regret this decision when you get older. Also, Spartan women aren't the only women to give birth to real men. Can your kid get a tattoo without even so much as flinching? I didn't think so. Yeah, I've been watching way too many movies lately maybe watching 300 wasn't such a good idea because I'm noticing a trend in this voiceover and it is violent. Then we make our way back to the hotel and entertain ourselves the best we can. Is that entertaining? One hour later. And off to bed we go. Can you hear the children slumbering away like the angels that they are? I'm whispering because I don't want them to wake up. And then I wake up in a panic. I can't find the kids. Are they in the closet? Are they in the drawer? Are they still buried at the beach? I don't know. Okay, maybe I do. Of course they're in front of the TV. And then we grab breakfast at the hotel. And Daddy Bear bought us a coffee to share. And then I ended up spilling it all over myself because I'm the biggest idiot that graced this earth. I can't even line up my lips to the hole. And then we headed to the beach one last time. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to use this time to list off a few Fat. The sand toys I scavenged were more than enough for the kids. The slimy icky monster known as the octopus has eight legs, but for some reason, October is the 10th month. If hammerhead sharks had a head shaped like a knuckle instead of a hammer, it would be called a knucklehead shark. And this, of course, is the dance of a kid who thoroughly enjoyed her weekend. <laughs> And as all good things do, our weekend at the beach came to an end. So that was it, a lovely family weekend at the beach. Thanks for joining us.